Hi, my name is Tinky Pinapol. In last week's video, I made a house using just orange furniture and other build items. Today, we're making the yellow house. My plan for this one is to make all the rooms, except the bathroom, get as much natural light as possible. Because, you know, the sun is yellow, and I want this house to represent that. First off, let's get the shell. Here we have it, the base. I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to do this, because this little shape over here just messed up the whole thing. I wanted to create something interesting and something different. I'm gonna leave it like this. I know it doesn't look good on this one side, but I like the way it looks and the shape, so I'm gonna just gonna leave it like this. But let me take you through the whole interior. I'm gonna make the front door over here in this wall. Then it's gonna be the living room over here, dining room in this corner. The kitchen's gonna be at the back. I'm gonna make a guest bathroom in this box. Uh, no shower, just a toilet and sink over here it's gonna be a bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and then over here is gonna be either a bathroom or study or another bedroom i'll have to decide once i decorate it upstairs we have a bunch of rooms so bedroom bathroom bedroom bathroom bedroom bathroom uh, and then over here is gonna be the living room like a secondary living room or a family room i think it's gonna be a family room because you know most of the bedrooms are upstairs so might as well make it a family room but what i'm now going to decorate first is the living room and the dining room Pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head 
Okay, I think I'm done with the living room and the dining room. The living room came out really, really great. I used a Dream Home something game pack. I think it's a game pack. The decorations they have is so nice and furniture and everything. I really, really like the build mode in this pack. I'm gonna add a TV later on. Yeah, I really, really like this. And then the dining room, it's bit bland but i don't i really didn't know what to do over here because it's a door and stairs it's a lot of activity so i didn't want to make it too busy and get stuff in the way but over here i did move this bathroom door so that there's space for like small seating area and i put a cat bed there as well yeah i think i'm gonna move on to the the kitchen change up the flooring and of course the wallpaper and all that i like you in my bed but you keep me on red oh Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a dawn. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of me there we go i think the kitchen is done not the usual kitchen i would do put some long cabinets next to the fridge and on this side as well i put some chairs i know there's a dining room but maybe if you just want to eat in the kitchen and don't want to go all the way to the dining room to eat the windows i'm not so sure about the windows but they're the only ones that fit and i don't want to have like long windows going behind a counter because that just looks weird i really like this oven it, it looks really really nice and really modern i might just put this one over here so that they actually have a stove as well yeah i think that's gonna do it for the kitchen i really liked how it turned out and we're gonna move to the guest bathroom That's gonna do it for this guest bathroom. It's not much decoration because it's really small. There's gonna be no shower, but I did put a bidet. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the guest bathroom. Up next is the is this bedroom over here in the corner, right next to the kitchen.
ago i decided to make the this room a guest bedroom so it's not much decoration or much personality put into it because you know it's a guest bedroom <laughs> tried to put you know some basic decoration so it's not completely empty with just a bed and a dresser and a desk put it some curtains to give them some privacy onto the other bedroom and the ensuite i think i'm gonna make this like the master bedroom with the master suite so the parents can be at the bottom and the kids upstairs so that if the parents get like really old they don't have to go upstairs to get to their bedroom and you know mess up their knees <laughs> so yeah, let's get into the master bedroom and master suite the master bedroom and master bathroom is complete now what i do still want to add in this bedroom is maybe a plant on this table yeah when i saw these chairs i thought about up and i wanted to you know kind of recreate it it looks cozy and it looks homey and then the bathroom i had a difficulty trying to position the bath and the shower uh, because the window i had yeah didn't really work with this bathroom so i changed it for just a normal small window but yeah the master bedroom master bathroom is done and now we're moving upstairs to this space over here and the family room <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Got it all on tap, I'm loving your vibe, always have your back 
We like all the same tracks Listen all night in the sheets all black there we go, the family room is done. There's not a lot of decorations I could have put in here, in my opinion. It didn't really fit with the style I was going for or the vibe. It's all just, you know, eh, <laughs> is the best I can describe it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go to this bedroom over here. Said I'm falling fast, don't remember life before you, that's fast. I feel good, you look great, I like you. I can't wait, a first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart it race So catch me if I fall this room done this room with the closet and the ball ensuite bathroom uh, i tried to make it look a bit more like a teenager's room and then the bathroom i didn't do much with it i did put this like cabinet thingy uh, next to the toilet but other than that i don't think i'm gonna put like paintings or anything on the walls here for this room here i want to try and make it like a child's room lots of toys playthings, and all that kind of stuff a new plan rearranging my life and i won't look back ever again you can't stop what's moving you can't stop what's moving i'm changing my life and i won't look back ever again no fear see clear you deserve to be great i know it feels like things get in your way push through those walls and the others will fall sit up stand tall you can get I need some energy, anxiety's no friend of me I have a short memory, I don't really remember things That's how I move on, that's how I stay strong A new day's on, I'll keep moving right along And I feel like the pain in the past, it needs to stay in the past You gotta take off the cast, I wanna feel like I'm a new person I wanna have clear vision and purpose And I feel like the patient lasts, if you can move on and pass There you go, the child's room is done. I really like placing and putting together a child's bedroom because you can just clutter it up with a bunch of toys, with a bunch of just random stuff and like posters on the walls. It's fun and it looks like it's someone actually lives in here. I really like it. I think it turned out really nice. And then onto this bedroom and the ensuite bathroom. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear The 
the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird Yeah, this stuff, it sucks. We finally feel like giving up. Oh god, no luck. Everything feels like it's this room and its ensuite bathroom is done. As you can see, I tried to make it a teenage girl girl's room. That turned out pretty good. I'm not sure about the carpet because it's carpet on carpet, but I wanted to give it more of an interesting design than just plain old carpet. And then the bathroom is very small, so I crammed a bath and shower combo in here with the sink and the toilet right next to each other and now i'm gonna go to the last bathroom And there's the bathroom done. Also, like just like the other bathrooms, quite plain. It was a bit, bit bigger, so I could fit in a separate shower and a bathtub in here. The next step is the exterior.
go. I think this yellow house build is complete. For the exterior, I just went another wood cladding because, you know, there isn't really yellow bricks or anything like that. Uh, with this roof, it was basically the only yellow roof I could use. The other one was, was like this. And I didn't want that for my roofs. I put some pillars on the corners and I made some just bushes of flowers all around here at the back. I put a door here on the balcony and in the front balcony as well because I realized I forgot to do that. Otherwise, I couldn't have access to this balcony that I that I made for them. I gave them a swimming pool, some seating and also monkey bars for the children. They didn't have yellow water because I think it would look like pee pee. So I just kept it blue. And yeah, that's going to do it for this yellow house build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how I did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Make sure to check out this next video where I only had 10,000 simoleons to make a home for eight sims.